Well, hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Jermaine, and I'm back with another pot of that morning coffee, that verbal cup of morning coffee that you know to be the morning thoughts. I've poured my first cup, and I'm ready to share with you the morning thoughts. Well, today what I want to share with you is something that we've all grown up hearing. We've all grown up hearing about what is known to be the American dream. That is that you have the, the education, you have the wonderful life as far as a job or a career or even a business, and you have your lovely family. Of Most of the time it's, uh, you know, two and a half children, the dog and the picket fence. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to share with you today the morning thought, and it's a bit of a shock a defibrillator on your consciousness and, and to just shock you into waking up and understanding that the so-called American dream is really the American nightmare. Now you may say to yourself, Jermaine, well we've heard people say these type of things before, but here's what I want to get you to understand and here's what the shock is to wake you up to. If you look at what's going on right here, right now, in the world that we live in, we are living under a situation where we have a financial crisis. We, more than ever in any time since the 1920s, the late 1920s, we are living in a depressionary state. I really and truly believe I'm not the only one. I believe that the only reason that we are not seeing the effects, the ill effects of the financial crisis is because the American printing press, as far as finances is concerned, we can print more and more fiat currency, so thus we have that influx of, fi of, of currency into the economy, and it doesn't even look as if we're as bad off as we really are. Secondly, we are having problems around the globe. Right now, more specifically, Syria and, and, and Iraq and Iran and Afghanistan. Now, I, Iraq and Afghanistan, we've kind of pulled out of those situations and it's kind of settled down, so to speak. And it doesn't seem as if those situations are as bad, but we are having a situation that is just terrible when it comes to what's going on around the world. And then we have an administration that believes that it can just take a huge eraser to everything that was done before that administration came into power and it can start setting rules and guidelines the way it wants to. So lo and behold, we are living in a world that the perceived American dream is no more and it is nothing more than a nightmare. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to go into the morning thought for this morning. And again, it is entitled, The So-Called American Dream Has Turned Into a Nightmare. We have become so inundated by what we must do to just survive that we have become more servers of self rather than contributors to the world, to the communities right around us, and just to even our families. Many of us do not afford time for any type of community service, any type of local service, even any type of family time because we're so concerned about what we must do to keep so-called the engine going of our lives. See, our communities are starving for an injection of true service, whether it be volunteers, whether it be mentors, or even financial supporters. See, consider service like a savings account. If we keep making withdrawals, we won't have anything there in that account when times get even tougher than they are right now. Here's just a small nugget of advice to everyone out there. See, a small thing is far better than a large nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this morning's cup 
a verbal coffee, that morning thought, has been able to provide a little bit of motivation, a little bit of inspiration. Maybe it had the opportunity to teach you a little something that you really didn't pay too close attention to. But more than anything, I hope it gave you just a moment to be able to say to yourself, hmm. I want to thank you for joining me on this episode of The Morning Thoughts. I'll be sure to brew up another pot of that verbal cup of morning coffee for you again real soon. And I'll see you again on another episode real soon. Tastes pretty good. Have a great day.